Hello, welcome to Friday Says. I'm Christine. This is Christine Says A Lot, and I'm coming to you at the time of filming from our vacation rental in Cape Cod, Massachusetts, where I've had the most fabulous vacation. I did bring my sewing machine and some patterns, a few projects. I had every intention of doing a lot of sewing, but we've had the most fantastic weather and a lot of time with food. I have cut out a project. I've put it in my project bag. This is the Pixie Dress by Violet Field Threads, and I'll insert a photo here. I'm not going to take it out of the project bag because I have not stay stitched it, and there are bias cuts on it, and I don't want to distort my fabric. I have made the Pixie Dress before for my cousin, and I think I think it might be a really good dress a girl dress for Project Dress a Girl. And I plan on putting some piping in the side seams. I think it's going to be super cute. And I want to see how long it takes to sew this up to see if this would be a dress I could do quick on repeat. I think one of the things I really need to focus on is making a cute pocket that is cute and also quick to apply. I am getting ready for Project Dress a Girl 2023. This is a charitable event being run by Madi of Madi Sews. I'm gonna link some information below. It is not gonna kick off until September, which is right around the corner. So stay tuned on this space and on Madi's channel for more information about this project where we, as a sewing community, will sew dresses for impoverished girls around the world. It's a fantastic event. Last year, I think we sewed well over 2,000 dresses. I will also link the video where Madi reveals the number of dresses we sewed last year. And I know she's enthusiastic to top that number. And I think we as a sewing community can do that. So that's what I'm doing. I'm getting ready for Project Dress a Girl, having a great time with my family. So in addition to cutting out a dress, I have gone to several thrift stores and I found some great sewing deals. And I'll be sharing that with you on my channel on Sunday. In the US, this is back to school prep time. The question of the week is, what are you doing during this back to school time how are you taking advantage of these back to school sales for your sewing? Now, a couple of things that you might do is buy some of the Crayola washable markers. Those are really good as marking tools. I have found that the Crayola washable marker has come out of all of the fabric I have used it on for marking. I've marked buttonholes on the front, on the back, in the seam allowance, and I've had no trouble getting it out. Now, I will say I sew predominantly with natural fibers, and you should always test it out on your fabric before marking. I think the only item I plan on purchasing during this back to school time well, there are two. One is, I love a mechanical pencil. We have some at work that are such nice thin lines. I'm thinking of picking up a mechanical pencil for tracing out my patterns. The other item I plan to pick a few up of is a composition notebook. And I'll insert a photo here of what I mean by that. And I plan on making as gifts some journal covers that will perfectly fit the composition notebook. And I think that'll make a super cute gift. During this time of year, those composition notebooks usually sell for half of the normal cost. It's not an expensive item anyway, but it's dirt cheap this time of year and it makes a fantastic gift when you sew a cover for the composition notebook 
and it becomes a journal and it really elevates it. My sister-in-law, Lorene's husband, Ed, is really a good creative writer. He's written some beautiful poetry and short stories, and I'd like to sew a journal cover and give him a couple of these composition notebooks, and I think it would be a great birthday gift for him. I plan on also making some as teacher gifts, and you know what? I think I would like one too. So that's what I'm going to pick up. I'm wondering what are you going to pick up? I not have had a more perfect summer vacation. The sun has been shining, lots of beach time, gorgeous weather. Let me know if you have had a holiday or a vacation. And what is it that you like the most about your vacation spot? I love spending time with family and also the cool evenings, a little break from our South Carolina heat, and just loads of beach time. I am a bit of a beach bum. If you'd like to see more sewing content, check it out here.